We, the modern church, have a problem among us. This problem is that too many members around the world are falling victim to weakness and timidness, and they are not being bold in the truth that they are walking in with Christ. How many times in the Bible does it say, do not fear? Do not fear for I am with you. That you are called out of the world to be the light, to be the hope, to represent the one who can bring healing and peace and justice and love to the world. Why are we hiding that? Why? So many modern day Christians are being nice. They are being nice in terms of they don't want to go around and they don't want to say something that might offend somebody. They don't want to say something about their belief, the Bible, about Jesus that can cause somebody to backlash, that could cause somebody to flip out, somebody to feel negatively about the church. They're afraid of being hated. They're afraid of standing out and being different. And that is a problem. Jesus gave us the best example of how we are supposed to be. Jesus was the most bold man who ever walked the earth. Do you think when Jesus was talking with the Pharisees and the Sadducees, when they came and presented their arguments against him of how he is not following Jewish law, Jewish customs, that they're here judging him and criticizing him, do you think he stood fearful? He was afraid of being judged about what he was going to say? No. Jesus defended himself with scripture and stood boldly on this. Jesus was not a nice guy. Jesus did not come to please other people. Jesus came to seek and save the lost by bringing the truth that is the kingdom of God which is found in him and him alone through what he did on the cross. He said himself, Luke 12, 51, I believe, that he said, I came to bring not peace, but a sword. That he would divide father and son, mother and daughter. That families would be divided because of him. That the whole world would be divided because of him. He came to bring division. He came to make weak men strong, not on their own, but through his own strength. Paul writes this, I rejoice in my sufferings so that my weaknesses can be made known to God and that through my weaknesses I am made strong because he makes me strong. If you are out here trying to appeal to people, to be a people pleaser, to you know have as many friends as possible, to be the likable person, there's nothing wrong with wanting to be a pleasant person. But if you are doing it in a way that is hiding your faith, if you are participating in things that are not okay, that are against what the Bible says, and you are doing it unashamed, willingly, and you're not taking that firm stance on the rock that is God's word, you're not a Christian. You are being a nice Christian. You are not being kind and telling them the truth. Telling them the truth is what love is. Love is not a feeling, love is an action. Jesus demonstrated his own love for us by dying on the cross while we were still sinners, Romans 5.8. Love is not doing what other people want you to do. Love is doing and saying what they need you to do and saying what they need to hear. Don't run from it. Jesus said himself, those who are ashamed of me in front of man, I will also be ashamed of them in front of my father. When we look in Revelation at the list of people who are not going to inherit the kingdom of God, one of the first listed is the cowardly. When our full faith is in Jesus, he gives us the confidence and assurance that we are saved. He speaks plainly, the world is going to hate you. Don't be ashamed. And this is a time of the world that we need to stand up in what we believe in. We need to take a stand for what is right. The more you sit out, and stay silent about wrongdoing and sin, you are allowing sin to be proclaimed from the rooftops with justification and acceptance, saying that it's okay. Your silence speaks volumes for sin. 
It's time that we all take a stand and say something. If we are truly following Jesus and picking up our cross, it is our time to say something and make a stance against sin and against evil, no matter what the cost is. That is the calling of our life.